First, remove the center section of the exhaust to access the drive shaft. Begin by removing the clamps holding the front and mid sections together. This car has an aftermarket exhaust, so your process may vary, but drop the exhaust in whatever method works best for your application. Remove the four hangers at the rear mufflers. Then remove the other two remaining hangers. Pull the two sections away from the front and out from under the car. Remove the heat shield, and then you'll have access to the drive shaft. Next, make two cuts to the carrier frame, one on each side. Unbolt it from the body and pull the loose pieces of the frame off. Now, using a razor blade, make a cut all the way around to separate the frame from the rest of the bearing. Then cut the remaining loose rubber hanging off the back of the bearing all the way around until it's flush with the rest of the bearing. Leave the base layer of rubber intact. Your bearing should look like this when you're done. When installing, be sure to place it with the CTS and STS all-wheel drive text facing the front of the vehicle and the CTS rear-wheel drive text facing the rear. Now we can install the new carrier. Take the top half with the bushing in it and slide it over top of the bearing. Then bring the bottom half up to meet it and connect the two together using the provided Allen bolts. As you tighten the bolts, switch back and forth from left to right so the bolts don't bind in the holes. A small gap may form between the two bushings, this is normal. To mount it to the car, take your bolt, put a fender washer on it, an isolation damper facing up, go up into the carrier, bring another isolation damper down from the top, then your small washer, and the provided spacer on the very top. Same thing on the other side, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper, up through the carrier, another isolation damper down from the top, small washer, and the spacer on the very top. Tighten both bolts and torque them each to 19 newton meters. Then reinstall your exhaust and enjoy your new JXB driveshaft carrier.